Hello family and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio. Back with another video for you guys today. We're gonna be doing some tarot reading. Welcome to the new year. Happy New Year. Hopefully everyone's been doing okay so far. Following through with your New Year's resolution as much as you can. You know, we always gotta have one for the new year. We do half of it, then we fall off. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm using Light Sears Tarot today. I'm going to be trying to do uh, different uh, readings for you guys, try to make more content for you. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to um, split readings up into different horoscopes. You know, there's 12 zodiacs, and there will be 12 videos. But, um, I might try to find a more efficient way to do it. Uh, and then, you know, try to come up with some more readings. I know a lot of people are getting into tarot. They have the basic, um, you know, readings like love readings and money readings. There's some pick a card readings and things like that out there. So I'm going to try uh, channeling different methods and different spreads. Um, you know, to fine tune my own method, my own ways of doing things. But today, I wanted to do a reading on. Your parents how do your parents view you so this can go either way this can go you know whether you still have your parents in your life and you talk to them every day or your parents are no longer with us you know these energies you know they, they come and go they never destroy so whether your parents are looking up to you or your parents are looking down on you whether they're still here and you talk to them or you're far away from them, these are going to be the lasting impressions or the ideal thoughts of what your parents or how your parents feel about. So, let's get started. I'm going to pull three cards like I usually do. How do your parents view you? Or what's your parents' opinions of you? So first of all, your parents seem to think that you are a very fiery, very passionate, very straightforward person. Um, you know, fire or uh, wands is the suit of fire. So this is, you know, Airy Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, you could be one of the above where your parents could be that type but this is your parents looking at you as the person that uh, you are becoming or the person that you've become you know somebody that's headstrong uh, someone that is very in tune with themselves you know this person there's a line in the background so that shows the amount of strength that you know you have been able to garner um, you know, your, during your time growing up as a person, or the line could just symbolize your, you know, your parent in the background, whether that's your father or your mother, that just could, you know, just symbolize them in the background, viewing you as a person that you're becoming today. The wand or the scepter is a uh, symbol of power, uh, a symbol of the magician, a symbol of the manifester. You know, um, again, wand is all about fire. Fire is following your passion. Uh, there's a lot of magic in fire. Fire is, you know, fire is channeling. You know, so you know this masculine energy. You know, and again, this could be a, a man or woman um, that clicked on this reading. But uh, the image of the masculine on this card just shows, uh, you know, a knowing. You know, knowing yourself. So that is a good way to start the reading, and then we have. And then we have the King of Pentacles. It's the old guy sitting there very comfortably with a gigantic 
pentacles in his hand. It almost looks like it's a pentacle. Um, I would say eclipsing a moon, but you have the camera has to focus a little bit more. But yeah, he's sitting there with his, um, you know, with his divine spirits, you know, his animal spirits, his animal toting. The wolf can symbolize uh, leadership. You know, the king of pentacles is um, very grounded, very stable. The pentacles is an earth suit, which symbolizes, you know, materialistic things, you know, being grounded, uh, you know, acceptance and things like that. You know, this person has uh, grown into themselves. So your parents could look at you as someone that, you know, although you may be young, you have a very... Uh, wise spirit about you or well aged or well versed spirit about you they may look at you as uh, someone that can go very far with this one pinnacle here you know grounding yourself uh, and believing in yourself you know uh, they look at you as being someone that has a lot of strength Let's see what else is here there is, you know, there's a lot going on in the background. There's a lot of material abundance going on in the background. There's, you know, depending on how you look at this card, there's, there's, um, you know, he they, they has all types of things on those shelves. You know, I can't really see too much. Books, elixirs, things like that. So a very well-versed, well-rounded person that's in tune with, you know, nature, in tune with themselves, in tune with their abundance. They're not settling, of course. You know, the King of Pentacles never has to settle. Um, so yeah, they, your parents can definitely look at you as someone uh, that's very knowledgeable, that's well versed, that's wise beyond their years. And then the third card was the Moon card. You know, again, there's a lot of there's a lot of wolves here. There's a wolf here in this. And the king of pentacles there's a wolf on either side of the moon the white wolf and the black wolf on either side of the moon um, and then of course there's the lion here in the background so there's a lot of animal energy a lot of animal totem energy uh, exuding from you they may look at you as someone that's very in tune with uh, animals someone that receives a lot of messages uh, I mean you might you may have told your parents or you may have had a conversation you know with your parents about these things you know sometimes you know people don't really get to talk to you know their parents you know about certain things you know people have busy lives and things like that we all grow into the person that we become and we do the things that we do and sometimes you know friendships separate or um, you know family ties sometimes you know you get separated there's a moon between these two wolves you know there's separation sometimes when it comes to family and friends but um you know, they can look at you as someone that's very in tune with spirit, or very in tune with nature, very in tune with uh, animals. You have a, a gift to communicate with uh, nature around you. Um, you know, your parents could also look at you as a very secretive person. Um, they can look at you as the type of person that doesn't really reveal a lot of things to them. Of course, there's the moonlight, so the moon always reveals secrets and things hidden. So there's ways to, you know, find out things about you. I mean, it's not necessarily that you're uh, hiding things, that they think that you're hiding things, you know. Um, but they do believe that there's things about you that they don't know. Um, they may feel like that, you know, you go through a lot sometimes. This person is underwater, so they may, they can probably look at you as the type of person that, you know, um, you know, young people go through a lot. Once you start getting older in age, you start settling down. You're, you're not, you know, panicking in the water and frolicking around and causing yourself to drown more. So uh, when you get older in age, your parents can, can you know, can, they can be more settled. So they can probably look at you as you know, the type of person that they were when, you know, um, they were your age. You know, still drowning, <laughs> drowning in life. Um, and, you know just going through the motions but you know they they can they're they're the the helping hand above water you know they're the the left hand you know the mom and dad or the left hand or the right hand that'll always be there above water to help you if you ask uh, you have to ask the moon its secrets but um yeah interesting three card 
uh, spread for you guys today. Again, there's more that can, that can be said about uh, these particular readings and the imagery on these cards. Take what you will uh, from them, of course. So, yeah, your parents, they seem to think highly of you, but of course, you know, you'll always be your parents' baby boy or baby girl, so, you know, they'll have their opinions and their, you know, thoughts about you, but they seem to think very highly of you. They, they think that you are, or at least that you seem to think very highly of yourself. <laughs> the king of, uh, of, of wands, or the king of fire, very passionate, very brash, very, um, you know, someone that likes to get things started. Uh, very youthful appearance on this card as well. So yeah, your parents look at you. They're very confident in the person that you are. There's a lot of confidence exuding from this card. You know, and then, um, you know they they look at you as being very independent, very stable, very sure of yourself. Uh, you manage to garner a lot of uh, knowledge and wisdom beyond your years for the age that you are. Um, you know that there's a, a dog uh, right next to the person, so they view you as being reliable. Um, you know they view you as being, you know, a loner, <laughs> a lone wolf. Um, they view you as being divinely guided. You know they know that there's something special about you. They're hold, you're holding that. You're sitting very comfortably holding that that one pinnacle there that the King of Pinnacle always holds. So they know that there's something special about their child. You know, everyone feels that there's something special about, you know, their children. Um, and then going into the last card, you know, there's, there's always going to be, um, you know, things hidden between two people. You know, you have two, two different wolves on each side of the moon communicating with each other, obviously. But, you know, there's some things that... You know, I give the example that there's some things that men will never be able to understand about women, or women will never be able to understand when, about men. Or you could take the famous song that uh, one of the great rappers, Will Smith, created. <laughs> there's no need to argue. Parents will never understand. So you know, they're communicating. They're howling at each other. They're howling at the moon, but the you know the moon is going to separate. It's going to you know. When light comes dark, I mean, you, you you don't know everything about your parents, and your parents don't know everything about you. You know, however they view you, that they're, they're always going to be there for you. Mom and dad is always going to be there for you, regardless. But they look at you as, you know, swimming through your own your own your own thing. But they seem to think very highly of you, so that's that's a good thing to have parents that love you and that's always going to be there for you. And you know they trust you enough to make decisions on your own and you know the guidance is always going to be there you know mother lion or father lion is always going to be there in the background for you to communicate with but in the end this is your life this is your rod this is your scepter you create your magic with your bare hands but that is going to be the three card spread for the collector for how do you f your parents feel about you? What do your parents think about you? It's a good one. But you guys be safe. Catch you on the next read. Happy New Year's. Have a good day.